Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 10. I always have to check on my watch because these days I literally have no idea what day it is. No, like seriously, I'm literally just living day by day. Like I'm just going through, I'm just going with the flow. But yeah, I thought today I would do a Q&A because I literally haven't done one in absolutely months. That is what we're going to do. But I put up a Instagram story and then you guys have asked me some questions. So thank you to everyone who has. So the first question is what style of dance do you study? When I was young, I studied all genres of dance at Sandy Gray School of Dance. So that was like ballet, tap, jazz stage we did hip-hop sometimes we did commercial we did everything and then when i went to vocational school at central i just did ballet and we did some jazz as well in second year and we did contemporary all three of the years now all i'm basically just doing ballet i'm in a professional ballet company so it's basically what we do every day ballet is just always been the one which I feel I've most sort of connected with although I do love other styles like contemporary not like Graham contemporary more like dance mums you know the tv show dance mums they do all the contemporary like routines I love that sort of thing but yeah ballet all the way for me any tips for controlling your balance on point yeah okay so honestly balance was one of my weaknesses and as time it did improve but over the first lockdown it just improved dramatically all of a sudden and that was literally down to me balancing 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 just like repetition i feel like with e loads of things in life like repetition is the way forward if you want to improve something but yeah obviously you can improve things like balance by strengthening your muscles especially in your legs balancing is on your legs yeah i recommend strengthening your glutes definitely and generally it is just practice um and it will come you just have to keep going with it and it will come describe your 2020 in one word i love this question um gosh um Oh, this is so hard because there's like so many different words I could describe it as. But I think, oh, I think 2020 for me has been unpredictable. I think the, that word sums up, but that's not necessarily in a bad way at all. With like me joining a ballet company was just so unpredictable because obviously with the virus, everything just got so much harder to get a job and just the whole industry is just so so tough anyway i just it's unpredictable because i just never thought that this is what i would be doing if i if i had to guess like say this time last year obviously with the virus we wasn't we wasn't predicting that we had no idea that was coming i think that word sums it up well do you ever regret moving to romania to work miss home question mark absolutely not Moving to Romania and starting my career it was one of the best things I've ever done. I don't regret it one bit. I absolutely love it out there. Being a professional ballet dancer is literally everything I thought it would be and more. I really do love it, even though it is so hard mentally and physically. It is so worth it. Honestly, if you're training right now, and finding it hard because surgery is tough like with getting your show reels ready your audition photos trying to find companies alongside all your schoolwork and like classical training it is tough but if you do want to become a ballet dancer then just know that it is so worth it and if that's your dream and if that's what you really want to do then keep going because it's incredible and yeah of course i miss home but it does make times like now i've come back for christmas it just makes these times so much more special and it's just an incredible feeling really coming back home after after so long it's been four months for me 
which is the longest ever. I think the longest I've ever not seen my mum and dad has been like maybe a month. Although it has been hard, obviously I've missed them so much, but because I have been so busy with going to work and absolutely loving it so much, I think that really helps because I feel happy there. You're not thinking about home all the time, but also I FaceTime my mum and dad like every single day, so that really helps too. Favourite type of pirouette? Oh, this is hard. Um... My favourite pirouette would be a non or pirouette, just the classic pirouette for me. I think I prefer. I also love pose turns. Next question. What performance experience have you done so far with your company and what's your future performances going to be? I've done two shows, which is their own ballet. It's mainly pas de deux, which are absolutely beautiful music is stunning and the choreography is also so beautiful and the part i did was the trio and there were actual ballet bars on the stage i absolutely loved it it was actually my debut performance yeah it was just in an incredible feeling and i also did another number which was three like couples and that was so fun to dance, it really was. And then I performed in an opera called Lily Ackle. And I really love doing that too. I just love being on stage. And then for future performances, we was literally just about to do Don Q. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I just loved what I was doing. So I'm really hoping that when we go back, we can continue with that and we can perform it because I just love that ballet so much. It's so much fun. We was also working towards a new premiere. The company is creating another ballet. It's Prince and the Pauper and I absolutely love the storyline and it's so well made so I can't wait to perform in that too. That one will probably be after Don Q. Do watch out for that on my Instagram. I might post some videos of it. It honestly is just a dream. What's your fave leotard brand? My all-time fave is Basilica Dancewear. I'm an ambassador for them but even if I wasn't I would still say the same because I've said this in many videos, such good quality. Designs of the leotards are stunning. Fit is also perfect. The people who run it are just so, so lovely. They're so generous. If you are wanting a new leotard, then I do recommend you check them out. And then the final question is, is ballet a hard job professionally? Yes, it is so hard, but I think every ballet dancer will, will say this. The pros outweigh the cons. It is very mentally strenuous and physically, but there's just something about it that just makes you want to do it, even though it can be so hard at times. So although some days may be really hard mentally and physically, there are days which are not so much and which just make you feel amazing. So them days do make up for the bad days. I think for me, the the reward of performing, I think that's what really does it for me. But also just so many things, like also just being in class and doing a ballet class with a live pianist, like to, that brings so much joy to me. I just love the art form so much. A real profession is actually harder than training. It does just go up a notch, but Again, like I've said, it is just amazing. So because it is so mentally and physically strenuous, it does make you such a strong person. But yeah, I really wouldn't change it for the world. That's all my questions for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you are enjoying my Vlogmas. Please do comment down below if you have any requested videos you want me to do because especially when you're in quarantine, it is hard to get content because obviously there's only so much you can do inside this is like the first time where i've actually been in like isolation because obviously i came back from a different country whereas like before i could still go to the gym so it there was a bit more variety in my content so yeah please do give me a shout if there is anything you want me to do but yeah other than that i hope you're all having a lovely day 
and yeah i'd really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow oh tomorrow i'm actually baking something really good so watch out for that although it's been said many times many ways merry christmas